Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Zoe and I like to sew and this week we're gonna be making some corduroy, or wait, not corduroy, frick. Hi guys, my name's Zoe and I like to sew and this week we're gonna be making some overalls. I'm so, so excited because I've been really wanting another pair of overalls in my wardrobe. I've been doing this like 75 hard style challenge this month and I've been like finding that I wanted to wear another pair of overalls almost every week. I'm like, ah, I'm gonna just wear overalls. And so I'm like, I need to add another one to my wardrobe. And I couldn't decide what fabric I wanted to use for the, for the overalls. So I let my followers decide what fabric to use. And I gave you guys four options. Here's the first one. <laughs> and here's the first one. It's like a cotton twill curtain that I thrifted. And then I got this B denim fabric my sister got me this for my birthday two years ago the same time I got my floral overall so the floral fabric and then I have two different corduroys this one I'm this Barbie-esque perfect perfect Barbie pink corduroy I find I made my sister some pants with these and I got jealous and I want something of my own so luckily I have enough and then this really dark navy corduroy overalls or corduroy fabric that I also thrifted very lucky thrift store that day but 50% of you guys chose doo -doo 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 -doo, the bees the bees I feel like the bees would be such a good piece that goes with my wardrobe because I have the flowers and now I have the bees so I think it's gonna be super cute together and then I'm actually gonna just use the same pattern I used for the the ones because I find them I find them really comfortable and I wear them all the time and here's the pattern I'm going to be using for the pants I'm actually going to be using this Simplicity 8701 pattern and it can be used for like linen, denims, all different types of fabric actually, twills. I did find when I made these that it was a little bit looser fitting than I wanted in like the in the side seams and the crotch so when I do make them I might either size down or just take it in more comparison because there's no like actual front dart in these pants there's only a back dart and then for the for the overalls I'm going to be using the closet core Jenny overalls pattern I don't know I just like to use two different patterns I want to have make sure I have a good fit in the bottom and then a good fitting at the top so I like the top I like the bottom so we're gonna combine the two so that's all I'm gonna say here and we're gonna go ahead and get into cutting out the fabric all right so I got most of it, I got most of the pattern pieces laid out here I forgot to mention one thing I am actually gonna change is the rise of the pants I'm just gonna make it like a about half an inch taller just to make them high-waisted with the waistband I just prefer my clothing high-waisted in Oxo I forgot to mention I have two yards of this denim fabric how to get the big boy scissors out today This fabric is super thick. <laughs> I can feel my fingers cramping up already. <laughs> I finally finished cutting everything out. That took longer than I would like to admit. <laughs> this fabric was super th stiff compared to other denims I've used, but you know, it's okay. I'm gonna take a little break and mark all the fabric and then get to sewing. Two hours later. Hi. So we're at our sewing machine. So first thing I need to actually do is I think I have to make a bobbin full of white thread and then I also have to make switch my searcher thread because I've been sewing only black colored clothes recently. So let's go do that. I probably should clean the machine before I start sewing. It's the bad part. <laughs> I'm probably gonna clean both of them. One second. So I've had my serger for probably two years now, and I do highly recommend it. It's a Brother uh, 1034. It's really nice serger. It's a really good beginner serger. And I want to show you how much bobbin or how much thread I've used compared from my white to my black. This is my white. <laughs> this is my white. I've had it for two years now. So it's I would highly recommend if you use your serger for almost every project, this is a good product. This is my black. <laughs> I use a lot of white. Another thing I wanted to say is once you get comfortable with your serger, it gets 
so much easier threading it. Like, that was one of my first things I was really nervous about was threading my serger. But, like, now that I've done it for almost three years, like, oh, sorry, I gotta get something. There you go. Uh, uh, two years, it's super easy. And I think I got this one from Amazon. I'll probably link it. It's called New Brothers Thread Quilt and Embroidery of Your Life. But I got, like, black and white at the same time. It's got me two years worth of sewing so i highly recommend it and i highly recommend the brother as a beginner who wants a serger it's a good machine so i actually have to fill a bobbin i'm all out of white bobbins somehow and i actually my machine does not work for bobbin winding so i bought this thing it's called it's a simplicity bobbin uh side winder and i bought it after seeing it on instagram i can't remember which creator showed it before but i use that instead and i can show you how i use it okay so the thread itself goes right here and the bobbin goes right here and then the thread will go through this first hole right here and get it through there you go around kind of like a bobbin goes around this winder right here and then it's a very loud machine, so once I start it, <laughs> and then it goes through the hole through the bobbin, bobbin. Just like how a normal one would go, but my machine just doesn't want to use it, do it anymore. And then click the button, and it winds the bobbin up. And sometimes I, and sometimes I gotta kind of move the thread up and down just so like make sure to get it all in there. But yeah, super simple, easy. Alrighty, machines are now with threads. This is my serger and my sewing machine. So now we are going to try to see, I'm gonna test my, do um, some thread testing. I will have only a little bit of white and a little bit of gold, which matches the bees. So I'm kind of leaning between the gold to match the bees on here with gold top stitching. So I'm gonna go ahead and test that, see which one I prefer. If I can't decide, I might go to Instagram again, but we'll see, I'll come back and see, tell you guys which one I choose. So I didn't even try the white. I love the gold so much. And I think it looks super cute and complements the fabric so well. All right, so with that being said, I'm gonna keep on working on the bib part of the overalls because I like to do all the top stitching first so I don't have to keep on switching back and forth between the threads. But anyway, I think it's looking super good. This is like the part that goes over top, the pocket. <laughs> and so I will be right back and show you how what I'm at like, afterwards. Day two. Hi guys, so we're back. Actually, it's been two days since I last did any sewing. Last thing I checked, I was doing the bib, and the bib is now attached to the top. I think it looks really good with the yellow top stitching. I think that was such a good move on my part to do that. It matches the bees so well. So now I'm going to go ahead and work on finishing up the top stitching with the pockets and then attaching them onto the pants. I'm going back and forth if I want to make like the full, full uh, uh, zip front zipper make, but we'll see what we do. And I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, we have two, one, and two pockets done. So now I'm already can tell I'm running out of yellow thread for this project. So we will probably have to go make a craft friend, which is always fun, and I'll probably take you with me. And now I'm gonna think I'm gonna work on back darts, putting the front, the back pieces together and starting putting the front pieces together. See how far we get, but first we gotta change threads. I also think I wanna change the needle because right now I have a super thick, can you see it? Needle on the machine. It's very big in comparison to like normal needles. I think that's for top stitching needle or just a heavy duty needle it looks like. But let's see, oopsie, oh nice. I have found my jean needles, which I think work perfectly. I'm gonna use, this is what I'm using. Can you see it? 
it is reversed, sorry, but it's a jeans, you know, I'm using size 16 for my normals. So I'm gonna focus on the back pieces right now, and what I have to do is I think I have to just put the darts in, only one big dart, and then put them together, finish all the edges, I'm gonna finish all the edges first, and then do darts, put them together, and that's all. <laughs> back, done. It needs a nice, really good iron because this fabric is super wrinkly. And I'm going to press the seams flat. And then I will go work on the front. Let's I kind of didn't want to go get the big iron, so we're just going to use this little one today. So I kind of got going, and I ended up, I ironed the back pieces and made them flat, and then I ended up finishing the front piece. I was going back and, well, almost finished. I ran out of top stitching, so we're going to have to go to the craft store. We, um, I top stitched the front panels, the top pieces together, and then I did the front, fake fry front. I was going back and forth between doing it and not doing it, and then it looked too weird without something. It looked like a backpack back pan so I think it looks really nice and really good and then I also finished up the front bib part I think that also looks super good and I'm super excited I want to get it done but now I'm out of thread so we have to wait eternity later hey guys so I just went to Michael's uh, I went to Joanne's I went to even Walmart to try to find the top stitching thread everyone was out of the yellow top stitching thread actually this week so I just went ahead and got this yellow that's close enough to the actual one I did and I think I'm just going to use the method where you use two of the same threads and and make to make the thicker thread so let's head back home and get to sewing Okay, so I just finished top stitching the front completely. That's done. Top stitch both straps for the overalls. And now I'm gonna finish top stitching the back piece. All I'm gonna do is top stitch this side, I believe, to the left, just like normal jeans. And actually, I did a little bit extra top stitching on the darts. I think it's super cute. So let's just keep on going. I also forgot to mention I got this, some overall stuff and then a white zipper okay, so I can finally see the finish line of this project so now we're going to just put the front and back together and on the side seams and the crotch seam and then try it on and see how it fits fingers crossed it fits how I want because it'd be so sad if it doesn't fit after so long of working on this Just finished showing the pants <laughs> and I will be trying them on and they do not have the zipper yet but I want to try on and make sure I got everything right first. Alright so here's the pants looking so far it is now attached on the sides and the crotch and I think I got the fit spot on. I, a couple things I wanted to make sure I did for these I wanted to let me make the light. Sorry the lighting is bad right now because it's rainy. Um, I wanted to make them more high-waisted, which they are. They're going to be perfectly high-waisted, and I wanted them to be tighter overall on the butts and everywhere else. So I wanted to be like whoosh, on my hips and got that to a T. I'm super excited. Now all I have to do is put the zipper on the side and add the waistband in the top, and it's almost done. I'm so excited to get these. Like I think they'd be super cute. It's just like normal pants, too. So I, I kind of wish they were normal pants, but... We have come too far to stop now. So let's go ahead and finish these up. So I was gonna actually just go with like the traditional white zipper, plastic one, but after trying those on, I kinda wanna just go with like a metal one. And I do not have a white metal zipper, unfortunately, but I did find this one. It's like a vintage zipper that was taken off a different 
garment and so and it has this really interesting flap so like it wouldn't be really touching your skin but i think i'm just gonna seam rip everything else and just keep the zipper and then attach it to the pants or the overalls <laughs> So waistband, zipper, check. Both are in on the pants itself. I'm super excited. I'm like so close. I can feel it. I can touch it. Other than I probably won't get done today. But I'll probably be to, done, almost done and be able to do the reveal soon. Anyway, this is attached. And now I'm going to do is pretty much you're going to sandwich. I'm going to sandwich the bib overall part in the middle. And then put the other side of the waistband in on that. And then flips up and it looks like this pretty much and do the same exact thing for the straps and then do maybe one more buttonhole and I attach the attachments for the straps and then I'm done I'm so close I can touch it I can feel it oh and also add the buttons for it yay it is another new day and today I will finish these overalls so last time I checked in I had not put the waistband i think on or i at least put the waistband but not the bit this is what it actually looks like together i still need to put the other side of the waistband on but i based it on this part and i'll actually try it on and show you how it looks right now so here's what the overalls are looking like right now with the everything on now i think they're looking super cute they fit the pants fit super well i love how the pants fit i'm very happy with that and all I have to do is put, I just basted this on, put the, uh, like really attach it. I think the one thing I'm going to change is I'm going to make this waistband a little bit smaller. It's a little bit big for my taste. So I'm going to change that and then finish attaching this. That's the straps in the back. The back of the pants, I love it. It's good. I'm very excited. And then do buttonhole, straps, and then we're done. <laughs> I just finished up all this top stitching for the waistband and it looks so good. I'm so excited. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on finishing up the straps. If I can find, oh, there it is. My, I'm going to do these, then hem and button all and button. And then we're done. Yay. So when you're making overalls for overalls, you got to use special buttons. I use jeans ones for these ones. And you got to get something to push the nail in. Like, sometimes the nail will go in easily, but I often, often have trouble. So I use one of these. Oh, it's super sharp. I've stabbed myself with it. So it's very... And then I poke a hole like that. Just, just enough so I can get the nail. I think that's a, that's a good size. And then I just poke the nail right through, like that. And then I'm going to go get my hammer and a piece of wood, and I'm gonna hammer it down, like that. So, and I'm gonna do it again to this other side. I got my hammer and my wood, and then I'm just gonna Perfect. And I'm gonna do that again. Just as easy as that. Perfect. Ah, so good. Very easy. So you take this part, which is sold separately than actual this part. I don't know why, but you put it through here. Slide that one down. Oopsie. And then you take this one. You can slide that one over and through that one. And this is how I do it. This is how I learned on YouTube. But everyone does it differently. And you take that one and you turn this one back around and feed it back through this. And then make sure all of it's flat. And then you fold it over once. And sew it right here. And then your brush are all done. And they're adjustable. Easy as that. Alright, all we gotta do is the hem. Ow! Stuff is so bad.
right, I think I'm gonna just do a quick press on the hem and then the overalls are actually done. Yay! Guys, I finished the overalls and they're so freaking cute. It's like a little bit rainy right now, but I felt like they deserve to be out in the open and shown. It's super cute. I love how these came out. They are adorable. I love overalls so, so very much. So I'm super happy to have another one in my wardrobe. And I like styled it with this black turtleneck and then like this little bandana my sister got me. I got and it's like, I feel like it's super cute. It's super springy, summery, and even wintery because like, I can wear this anytime. I don't. I don't. I don't leave my wardrobe separate for separate seasons. There, it's a wardrobe. It's everything, and I love how everything looks. I love the top stitching. Like, I think that's one of my favorite parts. It was like one of like a last minute thing, but like, I top stitch even the back. Like, I was like obsessed with the top stitch, and even though like some pieces are actually top stitch with different thread, I think it all matches together, and it's just super cute. It's super long full length overalls but i'm gonna get so much more out of this you guys made such a great idea decision with these overalls i am obsessed with them and i hope you guys like them too and if you do i will hope you leave some bee puns i was gonna say leave some bee puns because i have none the only thing i've come up with like is the, this is the bee's knees and then these are be perfect like these are be perfect and if you guys can come up with any other puns, please comment down below. Because I would love to see them and laugh at them and use them and steal them. <laughs> if you guys like this video, I hope you guys uh, leave a like and then subscribe. Because I like to make videos. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!